it still just looks like one wire. If this doesn't work, I'm quitting. I'm quitting the entire project. Okay, I'm gonna try something different here. I got a fresh piece of wire or two wires. They came glued together like this, which is really good for sturdiness or trying to feed through some complicated lightsaber compartments. I'm gonna try to keep this glued together as much or as best as possible. All right, so like that, right? So the back is insulated here, pretty much right up to the surface. But here's one of the tough parts about this. That LED has to go on top of this heat sink. These wires have to go through these here first, and then through the openings on the LED. Another little gotcha, the purple wire needs a resistor. I started to do on this one, but then I didn't have enough wire left over here to finish the job. So I'm trying to learn from that mistake. We're gonna have something like that going on. Another thing is putting on transfer tape, but it's different than what I was using before. I was using something called thermal resistant tape, which is basically a wall that blocks heat going from one place to the next, which is not what we want. We want the heat from the LED to dissipate into this heat sink. That's what this is for. That's the entire purpose of this is to spread out the heat away from the LED to extend the lifespan of that LED. So this is thermal conductive tape, I believe. It helps us stick that LED to the heat sink without losing any of that heat transfer. Okay, this is our resistor that we have to connect over here onto our purple wire. So probably need a little more slack. Let's secure this bad boy and do some soldering. And there we go. Phase two, wiring the resistor. I'm trying to think ahead here because there isn't a lot of space where this LED has to go into. What I can do, I have this short little thing needs to go like this. Be simple enough, right? We're gonna do the same thing over here. I know it's almost impossible to tell on camera, but I took all these fraying threads, twisted them together, and then covered them in solder so that it's basically just one wire now. None of it's fraying, it's just one solid wire. And since it has solder on it, when I try to solder this little resistor to it, it's gonna be easier for that solder to like transfer. I have to pre tin the resistor. This is more of a best practices type thing. You don't have to do this, but it does make the entire job more easier. Yeah, both ends of the resistor are pre-tinned and both ends of the negative, the purple wire, are pre-tinned. Now we just gotta connect them. Ah, the first very important step. Always forget about this until it's too late. How can I prevent that from shrinking? I don't know if this is gonna do a damn thing, but it can't hurt, right? There we go. Mission accomplished. Oh yeah, that's ideal work right there. So you're not supposed to be using a lighter for this sort of thing. There's something called a heat gun. It looks like a blow dryer, like for hair, but it's much more concentrated, but I don't have one. I'm improvising. There you have it. I wonder if it's big enough. Oh yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. It still just looks like one wire because I was able to keep these glued together. I didn't have to separate them. I'm really happy with this. If this doesn't work, I'm quitting. I'm quitting the entire project. Rewiring of the accent LED, 